There are people who run better than you. There are people who fly the fly you have not flew and yet had nothing to show forth for it. I have heard people say, eh, I became this, I became that by my power. Nobody helped me. You are a liar. Whatever you become in life, it is purely God. And if you want to be, it will be God. If you are not there yet, it is still God who will bring you out. Hallelujah. You may please be seated in his presence. God bless you. Love you all. I'd like you to just give somebody beside you a smile. Don't tell them I love you. I love you. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. I've seen people taking God out of equation. When people say God does not give child, God does not do this, God does not do that. And I'm not here to argue or to say what is right. But like I've told you, you have many what? You have many what? But how many fathers? So if you belong to this house, listen to my word. Hear me, sir. I want to beg you in Jesus' name. God is the author and the finisher. Not only of your faith, of everything concerning your life. He choose whether you are going to breathe the next minute. And the scripture says by him in the book of Colossians where all things consist. And so if God is the one who consists of everything and the scripture says in the book of James that, that he is the father of light in whom there is no variableness or shadow of turning. And, and he started by saying, all good gifts and the one that is perfect, they come from what? And that includes money. That includes child. Let anybody not tell you that um, Elon Musk is a millionaire. He doesn't pay tithe. He doesn't pay offering. He doesn't believe in God. Sir, everybody have a God. You may not know the God I'm serving. I may not know the God you are serving. But everybody call on to a God. The only thing is that you don't know the God everybody calls on until they come out. Number one. Number two. God did not say he will not bless the wicked. So even if somebody is a wicked person, God didn't, there is no scripture that says God will not bless him. God said that say to the righteous, it shall be well with him. Eh? And then to the wicked, woe. But then he also said that, he said when the wicked month of what? Wealth. So that means that it is possible for somebody not to know God, not to believe God and still month up wealth. Wealth is not a symbol of a relationship with God. But when you have a relationship with God, it's a necessary instrument. And the reason why I'm saying this is that the Bible says that this, this month is our month of the help of what? Help of God. And hear me, sir. Some of us are hard working, no? Some of us are hard working. And I mean hard working. I flew in from US this morning. I finished in California, um, in Detroit. It, within a week, I am in seven states in US. Seven. That cannot be a mark, a work of a lazy man. Seven state within six days. And I'm back here this morning. I'm not sleeping. I feel that even if I'm lazy, the laziness didn't come this week. So nobody, nobody, nobody. And and in, in, within that one week that we're talking to you, I drove from Houston to San Antonio. For anybody that knows that distance, that's a seven hours to seven hours through. So, but I can tell you, you, uh, you can't get anything from God without the help of God. I, I mean, sorry sir, whether you want to hear me one more time, let me make it clear. By the help of the almighty God, I have seen God. Can I hear Amen.
And that seeing God, that I've seen God, I, I, if, even me, I know that I am helped by God. One day, I was talking about somebody who received help. And mama said, keep quiet. Even you yourself. Even you talking here. You know, I was talking about that person that, ah, God has helped that person. God has helped him. And you know, you know when you are talking like, not jealous, but you are, you are glorifying God in the life of somebody that, ah, that person has received help. And so she quickly remembered that when I met you, boy, you had one trouser. And that one trouser has a, a mark. So you can't talk in, you always do like this. And so you yourself that is talking here, by every parameter, I know you have received help. So I will now come out one day to come and tell somebody that, God, everything you do is by your power. Hear me, sir. There are people who run better than you. There are people who fly the fly you have not flew. And yet had nothing to show forth for him. And so when God now help you, then somebody will now come and tell you that you don't need the help of God. Please, sir, post your help to me. When God wants to help you, just say, look, I don't need help. But there's one boy called Shego Kingsley. He does what? He needs help. I need help. Hear me, folks. I'm, I am more in trouble than I am last year, than I'm here two years ago. And I'm going to explain to you. Two years ago, we were thinking of coming here after we have purchased this place. And so I had something to run with that I'm going to turn these 70, 50 people to be able to become a fire that will go and then attract the people that we are believing God for. Don't mind me to let you know that there's one thing they call the help of God. The prayer we pray now, is not, we didn't start now, we prayed it before, and we didn't get anybody. Yes. If I, when we are coming here, how many days did we pray? Prayer chain, how many days? 90 days, every day oh, we prayed. So, now the people have come. So, my headache now is how to disciple the people. Headache number one. So that we will not be a church comma, a church goer. So that the church can have impact on your life. So that you will know that I spent one year, two years, three years in that church. My spiritual life is not the same again. I have that problem, number one. Now, problem number two is how I am now going to multiply what we have now. And you know what? As I think about this, have headache every day, I don't have a clue of what to do. Except the help of God comes and attend. And then somebody come and tell you that you don't need help because you came into London. Please, I beg you, don't join them. Whatever you become in life. You know what? I, I met somebody recently who is a nurse. And he said to me, Daddy, I have been trying to come. They brought him to me. They said, I've been trying to come to US, uh, to UK for years. I have not been able to. The day I make up my mind, I want to start. Whatever. They, they, they said they didn't allow anybody to leave Nigeria anymore. So I'm not like. I know this lady, she's not saying it all. There were, you know when somebody is crying from the Hina being? I mean, a weeping that since this year, I have not. Now that I want to, that was when they put. And then, you know, for some of you, you just woke up one or your friend just call you. Hey, blessing. Have you done the application? Oh, Kobiro, wait till I am coming. And then you just put in the application. The very day you put in the application, God granted it. And then you think it's your power. Sir, I beg you. May God not give any one of you a arrogant heart that will take God out of his equation. You know, I like the way David put it in Psalm 121. Psalm 121. Can we quickly bring it up? David made it up. I will lift up my eyes. From where? And you know, anybody who is a wretched man cannot tell you not to trust God. But a man who is blessed. If that man tells you not to trust God, maybe he can have something to say. And hear me, sir. If David comes and says that there is no help from God, we can actually think, what is he saying? We may still disprove him if we look at the scripture. But then, during the time of David, no king, no nation, no battle did that guy lose. So David understood the help of God. David understood the help of God in the fact that he went for a war. The Amalekites had come to invade everywhere. And it became so bad that everybody thought that this man, you must be a devil. How can you go to war? 
On our way back, they plunder our own city. And Bible said people begin to choke at him. They were throwing stones. And when David went to God, should I run after? And God said, run after. There were no way David would have gotten help. God immediately made a guy to be sick. The guy got sick. The arrogant master said, leave the guy alone. And that was the help David got. Who took him to where the people who came to plunder him? And somebody wants to tell you there is no God. Please, I beg you, where they are going, I can, you can go and write it as your pastor said, where they are going is that they want to do it in such a way that the devil has, has taken over some of them to make you feel that there is no God. Because they will massacre everything down until they get to the last equation where we tell you that you can be on your own by not going to the house of God. That's, the, that's, the, that's where they are going. So please, I beg you, if you belong to this house, let us know that God is what? You know, I like this one that says, for this God is our God. It will be our what? Even from now, may God be your God in Jesus' name. So, Eva, I have heard people say, eh, I became this. I became that by my power. Nobody helped me. You are a liar. When I was coming to London, nobody assisted me. It's my own power. You are a liar. God brought somebody who gave you a word. God made somebody to speak into your ear before you make a move. While you are gathering those papers together, somebody helped you with something. You didn't get where you are by your power. One of the reasons why a lot of people don't go to where God wanted them to go to. Little achievement. Our shoulder pad goes high. You know, I pray God of heaven will help you and I. To know that God is everything. Whatever you become in life, it is purely God. And if you want to be, it will be God. If you are not there yet, it is still God who will bring you out. Hear me, sir. I don't care whether it's one mala, one, one allergy, emia that helps you. God puts them there. One of the help I received from Nigerian was given was 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 in the middle of one area. The first time I was going there, I felt they are going to sell me. I got there, everybody was offering their shoe. I entered the palace, I didn't have my shoe. The eyes of those malam, those Megida turned red. Who the hell are you? Where are you coming from? What marching over our mat without your shoe being removed? Well, I ignored them. You know, that what somebody did that escaped. Another person could have did it and died. Emmy, I said to them, leave him alone, he's a pastor. And you now come and say, eh, I became by myself. I'd like you to rise up on your feet and say, Father, please help me. I pray that God of heaven, the help of the helpless will help you. Amen. I prophesy one more time over your life. The help of the helpless will help you. Amen. For every one of you hearing the sound of my voice, the God of heaven that has never allowed me to be stranded for one day, I pray for you to that God, that God who has kept me all days, that have never allowed me to be stranded one day. In the journey of life, you will not be stranded. Yeah. The God that always puts help in place before I show up. Hey, May the help of the helpless arise for you. Before you need help, help will arise. Before you cry, help will shout out. Before you lift up your hand, may heaven send this angel to help you and I. Every member of this church hearing the sound of my voice, I pray for you today. All the days of your life, you will not be helpless. Uh, I prophesy over your life, you will not be helpless. Uh, whether you say amen or not, uh, you will not be helpless. The 
congregation of heaven, heaven will help you. Amen. The elders of heaven will help you. Amen. The elders on the throne will run to help you. Amen. Your angel and assignment will not fail to help you. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name.